and talk about regular life and, uh, God. Um, who's that? Come in, come in. A chair. One of the boys will bring you out a chair. Uh, okay. Marlo, everybody. Hi, everyone. Marlo How Hampton. Yep. <laughs> Here's one of the Anderson dynasties. Oh there you go. Yes. There you go. Thank you, John. Wait, I need a moment of silence. You okay. Guys. I can't believe I'm here. Why? Because I haven't been here in eight years. First of all, head to toe love. Beautiful, likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, before we get all started, okay. I want to let you know, okay. I brought you a gift. Okay. It's in the back of your office. Okay. It's a wig for my new hairline. All right. Oh, okay. It's fabulous. It's blonde and you're going to rock it. Okay. Now get all the tea you want. Is now. this a wig from the line? It's a, uh, you know what this is? This is something new we're doing, a you part. Well, you want to know what? Because, um, um, gosh, the, oh God, Eva shaded you and said that you do a lace front. I don't see I any know. lace in the front. Tell leave me It alone. looks like it's growing from the scalp. I was scalp. just trying it. You know, in the beginning, she gave me hell. No, I mean, but be <laughs> the whole beauty thing is trial and error. It is. Now, here's my thing. And, uh, you know, Andy, Andy says he doesn't think that uh, you'll ever get a peach or anything like that. Nene and I didn't talk about you mm -hmm. or, or any of the other girls. Like, we literally have grown conversation okay. that spins out of control into something <laughs> else. But I think that you need a peach. Like, you've worn me down. <laughs> no. You did say that the other day. Yeah. Do you, do you want a peach? You know what, I watched the same interview. You're talking about the woman, he said that the consensus hasn't all came to, come to I, an agreement. I don't wanna talk about that, I wanna talk about what you think. But I feel that I deserve a peach for you all, because I want, I want you all and my fans to really love it. This is so shocking. <laughs> I want you all of my fans to really see my life and just really get to see who Marlo is because it's so much more than when you see me come on for two seconds to just stir up some drama. So I do feel, and I just feel also on the other hand, I'm like, I'm good where I'm at. I do feel that God puts you where he wants you to but be. But you at. get more money if you hold the peach. Well, I get a cute coin now though, Wendy. Okay. I do get a cute okay. coin. Okay. I'm like, a lot of people, <laughs> A lot of people are so worried about the title, like, oh, you're not a housewife, you don't have a peach. I go on every trip the girls go on. How much were these? You know, I don't know, Wendy. Come on, drop it. I don't re recall. How who, much who were they? 10, oh my God, 10,000. Who makes these? Who makes <laughs> YSL. these? YSL. YSL, okay, so <laughs> you're right. They're like eight, 10,000, all that <laughs> dazzlement. What is this, who designs? Ballman. Okay, and how much was that? Oh, Lord, I don't remember. 2,200? Mm-hmm. How do you make money, Marlo? <laughs> She was gonna ask that, well, you guys. Yes, Marlo, Marlo, you've worn me down. You know what, Wendy? What? Everyone one asked that also. The whole, eight, I'm like, good Lord, I got to get on there and tell her how. Now, I had a boutique in Atlanta before the world even met me. This was like 10 years ago, the hottest boutique in Atlanta. The who's who of Atlanta shot with me. What do you do now? I'm going to get, let me tell you though now, hold on. Okay. So, Real Housewives of Atlanta even taped at my store. Okay. Uh, season three, I closed my boutique, I invest in real estate, and guess what? I've been on the, the number one reality show over eight years. Okay. I get paid when I walk in a room. I get paid when I post something on Instagram. Like, and I have great credit. <laughs> Marlo. Uh -huh, talk to let, me. Let's talk about these old white billionaires. I, oh, we're gonna, we do need to talk about that. We're gonna, let's talk about okay, that. Okay, let's seriously. start with Ted Turner. Okay, let's start okay. with Ted Turner. Ted was with Jane Fonda, and the word on the curb has always been that you were his his back, wife. back girl. Never in my life dated Tara Turner. Okay. I did date one white billionaire that okay. ran in that circle for five years. Okay. Who watched? Who how do you meet? How do you meet a billionaire? I'm gonna tell you now. Okay, go. He's, so you guys know I had the boutique at Perimeter Mall in Atlanta. He watched me for six months. On Valentine's Day, he walked over. He said, "You're watch fabulous." The bill, watch the billionaire. Watch the billionaire came to the mall every day and watched me for six months. I was like, "What is going on?" Something. Would he come inside guy. and sit down? No, he would come right outside of Nordstrom's. There was like a little sitting area. You know, okay. you had the Nordstrom's cafe. Yes. So I was telling my friend, like, this guy just sits here. This older white man sits here. It's really freaky. Valentine's Day, he walked over and gave me a card. He said, "I love your work ethic." He said, "I see you come to work every day. You dress so nice." Gave me a Valentine's Day card, and I was a five-year relationship. And the only white man I've ever dated. 
So who are you dating now? Cause I'm you're not single, letting this go. You need to find me a boyfriend. No, but I can't because you don't Why? date regular guys. You, to me, you have the air of if he's not a billionaire. That's not true. I've only dated one. I've dated a uh, thousand now before. <laughs> I love, I love any race. <laughs> I love any race, as long as they look good and have beautiful teeth and smell good. I just don't want them to be broke. Do you want to be married and have children? You know what, I want that if that's what God has in store for me. I mean, I know that you're taking care of what your nieces and nephews. My two nephews and right my family. Now. And your family. Mm -hmm. They, they, do they all live with you? My two nephews do for the last eight months. And that has changed my life like, ooh, no other. If you, could, if you could ditch one of the housewives of Atlanta, which one would you ditch? Oh my God, let me see. Huh. Really? Know what, I won't ditch her because she's great TV. I'll ditch Eva. Oh. I would. Because if you get a peach, like I don't want too many peaches to be given out. It's enough that the, it, there's already too many peaches, mm -hmm. but somebody would have to go to give you a peach. So, so Eva would be the one. Yeah, let's get rid of Eva. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think Eva. Now, you guys agree? Now, <laughs> I, like, I liked your maturity with regard to Cynthia and Nene. It endeared me to her even more last night. I, I'm so glad that you came here. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I still can't believe I'm here. Yeah, Let no. Me test you. This you for real? No, yes. no, um, no. <laughs> but, but look, um, and by the way, if they never give you anything. Oh! Oh, I got my peach. I'm doing peach. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> team Cynthia or Team Nene? Team Nene. All day. All day. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. okay. Marlo Hampton, everybody. The Real Housewives of Atlanta airs Sunday nights at 8 o'clock on Bravo. More great show for you, everybody. Up next, our style squad is here to break down all the fashions from last night's American Music Awards. So grab a peach and have a seat. <laughs>